The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it. And this should be something special on the pitch. We're live on EA TV. Hello everyone, we're raring to go. Our venue for this game is the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Bournemouth and they take on Brighton. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And now they get the ball rolling. They need to get tighter. And teammates to play it to. Oh, keep it up with it. They take it short. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, whenever the ball drops to him in the box, you expect him to score. He's such a good finisher and a good all-round player. Joel Feldman. Dunk on the ball. Mitoma moving the ball forwards how creative can they be and a corner kick the referee's verdict Rocked it brilliantly. Well, he went for power and might be regretting that now. to Tavernia who can he pick out Christie Well, it's 
great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal Cadioglu it's with Welbeck the cross is on poor attempt at a pass really Tavernier Clavert Now with Tavernier. Kleibert. That's a nice looking ball. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Attacking options appear plentiful. And to reduce the deficit, goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Can someone get on the end of this? Clearance needed to be better. Nicely timed tackle. And quick thinking defensively. Oh, moving it nicely. Tavernier now with Semenya well he was in the right place to intercept Kaoru Mitoma the referee knew a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it and he does produce the yellow card and yeah, it certainly deserved a yellow it's a poor challenge you have to say Eva Nilsson. And Brighton with the ball again. Dunk. Igor. Mitoma. Bruter. Delightful pass. And effectively parried away by the keeper. And the referee has given them a corner. Oh, 
Keen to take it short here. Decent position. Well, I'll tell you what, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Clivert. Very quick thinking there. Mitoma. Ferdi Karioglu. Mitoma. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Tavernier. Eva Nilsson. Marcus Tavernier. Clivet. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Excellent block. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. It looks promising. Araujo. Christie. And here now is Lewis Cook. Oh, breezing past him. Is it going to be? And the goalkeeper's touch. That was crucial. Not a good clearance. Just the challenge that was required. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. And with that, the move comes to an end, and a goal kick to follow now. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Lewis Cook. Now with Ryan Christie. Milos Kerkes. Semenyo. Christie. Now with Tavernier. Stopped a certain goal. Tavernier. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the Vitality Stadium. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goal. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, he has to impose himself on this game. He's been far too quiet so far. If they are to get back into this, he needs to make something happen and start getting some shots away. Needed to be more accurate from the keeper. Kadioglu. 
promising sequence. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Mitoma. No way through. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And time for the change now. Bournemouth unable to hang on to the ball. This could be troublesome. Now he's got to stay calm. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Who can he pick out? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Cook. Kepkes. And he's beaten him here. Can he convert? And that's a very good parry. Well, Bournemouth have created so many chances, as you can see from those stats. It's just a case of how many now. Kaoru Mitoma. Igor. Rutter. Welbeck. Milos Kempkes. And here now is Lewis Cook. Lewis Cook. That's a good-looking ball. It did look on for them, but not to be. Ruter. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, good-looking run. Brutaire. Joel Feldman. It needs an accurate cross. And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching here. Needs to be more alive. Work harder to keep on side and be ready for the chance. Luis Sinisterra. Sinisterra. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And that will be a corner. Playing it short. Semenyo. Sinistera. And return to Semenyo. Crossing opportunity. There's still an issue here. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. They will now make use of the substitutes bench.
Joel Feldman. Committed challenge. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And teammates to play it to. Really good block. Ten minutes to go then. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Jakub Moda. A chance to whip it in. Decent position. And the cross smuggled away. And we've entered the final five minutes. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Possession one. Clivert. Clean challenge. Good play from his point of view. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Good looking sequence. Really good ball there. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Now with Semenyo. Lewis Cook. Juliana Raujo. Zabani. On to Semenyo. Christie. So the referee brings this game to an end. A frustrating day for Brighton and Hove Albion. Three points dropped. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he gave that back line a sorry time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well, too. Clearly the difference maker today.